Alright guys, uh, this is the lecture for module 15. Uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss, um, basically explain what a price index is and how it is calculated. We're going to calculate the inflation rate using the values of a price index and we are going to describe the importance of the consumer price index and other price indexes as well. Um, so, the aggregate price level is a measure of the overall level of prices in the economy. We're going to talk more about that in the next unit. Um, but to measure the aggregate price level, economists calculate the cost of purchasing a market basket of goods. All right, uh, you guys did this when you did your Kroger click list sh uh, shopping spree, um, where you looked up those ten items that I told you to, and you figured out the prices for those and added them all. That's an example of a market basket. A price index is the ratio of the current cost of that market basket to the cost in a base year multiplied by a hundred. All right, so a price index in a given year, uh, to calculate the value of it, so you're going to put this in the calculating price index value, um, you're going to take the price index in a given year is equal to the cost of a market basket in a given year divided by the cost of the market basket in a base year multiplied by 100. All right, so there's nothing too crazy about it. Uh, but when you do that, you'll find that the price index in the base year is going to equal 100. All right, and the reason why economists do this is because it's easier for us to see changes if it's in numbers like you know 100 to 105, 110, so on and so forth. All right. Um, now, this is an example here. You can look at this at your own will of, uh, on your own time of, of how economists calculate cost of a market basket, um, and then they would simply divide that times the base year and figure it out from there. We're going to do practice with that um, in the next class. Now, the inflation rate is the yearly percentage change in a price index, typically based upon the consumer price index or the CPI which is the most common measure of the price level. The CPI measures the cost of a market basket in a typical urban American family. All right, and so, um, and they have different goods that they put into it. We're gonna take a look. If you look at the bottom of your page um, uh, and your notes, I put in for you a pie chart that shows you what goods make up the CPI market basket. Um, and you can kind of see that they then assign a weight to the price and values of all those things uh, and so on and so forth. So it's a little more complicated than what we'll do in this class, but we're going to keep it as simple as possible here uh, for this. Um, and here's that same chart uh, right there for you. All right. Um, you can see housing is in there, clothing, motor fuel, other transportation costs, medical care, recreation, education, communication food and beverages, and then other goods and services. All right, uh, as you can see, the CPI has increased um, over a period of time. The base year for the CPI is between 1982 and 1984. Don't really know why they choose that, but that's what they've done. All right, now, um, other price measures, the only one that you need to write down uh, is the GDP deflator. Uh, basically, the economists will use this, which measures the price level uh, by calculating the ratio of nominal to real GDP. So the GDP def deflator for a given year is 100 times the ratio of the nominal GDP to real GDP. So you would simply take your nominal GDP divided by real GDP times 100 to get the GDP deflator. So write that down. Uh, somewhere on the page there, um, just in case, but you probably won't need to know that. <laughs> um, the CPI, uh, Producer Price Index and GDP Deflator, as you can see, they're all just different ways of measuring the change in prices for things. All right. uh, the CPI has a direct and immediate impact upon millions of Americans. Many payments are tied or indexed to the CPI. 
Today, 48 million people receive checks from Social Security. In addition, all Social Security payments are adjusted each year to offset any increase in consumer prices from the previous year. So the CPI is what's used to calculate that. So, you know, th this number does have a huge impact uh, on people's daily lives. All right. Well, that's it. So pretty short and sweet and to the point for you guys here. If you have any questions, write them down and I'll answer them in the next class.